scientists have created the first ever detailed map of the shifting outer boundary of the sun's magnetic influence, known as the Alfven surface. This boundary marks the critical point where the sun's magnetic grip weakens to the extent that the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles, breaks free and is no longer magnetically connected to the sun. The mapping effort, a significant milestone in heliophysics, reveals not only the structure's complex shape, but also how it evolved during the rising phase of the current solar cycle 25. The achievement was made possible by synthesizing data from multiple spacecraft. The Parker Solar Probe, which performs daring dives into the sun's superheated atmosphere, provided direct, unambiguous measurements from below the Alfven surface. These close-up observations were cross-referenced with data from the Solar Orbiter, observing from a safer distance, and three other spacecraft positioned at the L1 Lagrange point between Earth and the Sun, which measured the solar wind's properties. Analysis of six years of data showed that during most of its close approaches, perihelion encounters, Parker Solar Probe merely skim bulges in the turbulent Alfen surface. It only plunged fully beneath this boundary during its two deepest dives, which occurred near the peak of solar activity. The research confirmed a key dynamic, as solar activity intensified toward solar maximum, the Alvin surface expanded and became more irregular, growing by approximately 30% from its median height. This expansion and increasing spikiness had been predicted by models but were now directly observed for the first time. Understanding this boundary is crucial for several reasons. First, it is fundamental to explaining the physics of the sun's atmosphere, particularly the mystery of why the corona is millions of degrees hotter than the solar surface. Data from below the Alfven surface is essential for answering such questions. Second, the behavior of this interface directly influences space weather. As it froths, spikes and changes shape, it affects how the solar wind interacts with Earth's magnetic field, impacting satellites, power grids and communications. Furthermore, this research has profound implications beyond our Sun. The Sun is the only star for which we can directly measure this magnetic boundary. The findings provide a template for understanding other stars, especially those with stronger magnetic fields, which would have larger alpha and boundaries. This, in turn, affects the environment around closely orbiting planets and could be a critical factor in assessing their potential habitability. In essence, this work transforms our approach from distant estimation to precise, navigable mapping. As lead author astrophysicist Sam Badman notes, scientists now have an accurate map to use while studying the sun, and importantly, can watch it change in real time, matching those changes with close-up data. With the Parker Solar Probe continuing to collect data as the sun moves toward solar minimum, scientists are poised to gain an even more detailed and dynamic understanding of our star's magnetic personality and its far-reaching effects. The study has been published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters.